Hello and welcome to a quick demonstration how you can add unparalleled uh, XPNA extended planning analytics features to your Dynamics environment. So what you see here is Power BI, which is one of the options uh, that you can use to manage the process and also for your users to actually work with and use uh, it as a front end for your planning, forecasting and other processes. But you also have other options like the Acaris uh, web modeler where you can uh, administrate all parts of uh, the planning model, administrate uh, the users, the access rights, special planning logic requirement, and also manage all the integration aspects. But a lot of it can be done directly in Power BI without even needing um, this application. The other option is uh, our Excel add-in for those that prefer Excel, but in this video we will cover mostly the Power BI options. So here we see a typical Power BI report based on a Dynamics sample system. This could be reports that you already have running with your Dynamics model. So in this case, we're also using directly the Dynamics data with the tables from Dynamics. And what we're doing is we're just adding the Acaris planning features. And the initial step is to add the, uh, the Dynamics data. Again, there's different options. The easiest option is to use the Acaris Power BI Sync tool, which allows you to build your planning models directly from what you have in Power BI, which means you have all the Power BI functionality for data transformation, where you can adjust the dimensions, for example, your account hierarchy, your legal entities, whatever it is, you can filter them. Uh, and you don't need to be an IT expert that's typically focused on a business user with Power Query. You have all this um, as you need it. And then you can just, with one click, uh, select the items that you want to use in your planning model. For example, your account hierarchies, your entities, your uh, calendars, and you know anything else that you have um, in your data model, really with one click. So here we're loading now the sample of the Dynamics data that um, the user can immediately see them in the Acaris Power BI Sync environment. Then with one click, I can link it as an Acaris dimension, so as part of your uh, data model, or load the data into uh, an Acaris model that we call Cube. But in the end, it's all based on normal SQL Server tables. So this is the initial step to um, build the planning model. And then this generates a write-back table that you can see here. And then the only thing that the users need to do is to add the details of the write-back tables, for example, in this case, the scenario for budget, but this could be also varying as you will see somewhere where you can switch between different scenarios to your either new Power BI report or even to your existing Power BI report. And that gives you then all the planning functionality and I will quickly demonstrate this. Initially, what we see here, this is more focused on reporting. This, this uh, shows the Acaris um, reporting visual, which allows you to build uh, professional financial reports directly in Power BI. With some very cool features like, for example, subtotals that you can define here, different formatting that's typically required in financial reports, underlines and other things. But even more advanced things like um, switching between different variance options like waterfall, absolute variances, and then also the option to handle unstructured um, details like, like comments um, with the option to go down and the, all the Power BI features so I can move to a particular element and I see what are details there in a custom tooltip that Power BI provides. Then also immediately the planning. So this is more like top-down planning where again in another visual here that's not really focused on planning I can switch between uh, different displays, just turn on the planning option and then can immediately do my planning here by dragging and dropping. Um, so this would be now on the top level where I put in my revenue assumptions and change my revenue assumptions that then flow through to all the underlying um, details, but I can, I can do this on any level. So if, if I drill down here by very easily dragging and dropping the different detail accounts, and if I'm happy with them, you can just save them. As you just saw, it takes seconds to update in real time. And we could then also adjust the assumptions again on the top level. Thing. Uh, again, that's just an easy drag and drop. So this is more of a strategic uh, initial quick planning. 
we could then move on to more detailed planning with one of the eight Hectares Power BI custom visions that really cover any planning requirement that you can imagine. So here we see two of them, matrix or matrix-based planning with the option to selectively drill down something that Power BI doesn't offer out of the box. So you can just expand particular columns as well uh, without having to expand everything. And by just turning on the edit option, I have now all the carriage planning features available from you know, relative increases, um, filling to the right, using existing allocations, adding data, adding comments, pasting data from Excel, uh, or just entering a new value. If I want to 50,000 here, I can just enter this new value. That's then uh, immediately in the database, I can immediately see all the implications. And I also have shortcuts. So uh, if I want to do this very quickly, for example, assume a particular increase from a particular date. So let's say we are assuming to raise this to 30,000. I can just enter this here. And this will be then automatically written forward until the end of the period. So here we see now the values written forward until the end of the period. And again, of course, also on any level. So if I want to adjust my top down revenue assumptions by a particular percentage, um, I can do this directly here, immediately get the real-time feedback in any visual, so this can be combined with any visual in Power BI. You can have, uh, of course, also the carries visuals here, which is a, a more advanced one for comment handling, where you have to get an overview of all the comments, uh, you, you can add uh, and edit comments also directly here. We also have more advanced options for visual planning, where the user, as opposed to entering the number, can do visual planning, as we've already briefly seen before, with some special features. So I can also see the immediate effects of these. If I change a number here, I can see, okay, what's the effect on my targets? And then I also have special uh, options here, like I can lock the targets, and that means if I change something here, everything else adapts to achieve this particular target. I have the option to do um, my planning also on a relative basis, as opposed to the absolute number. So some very uh, cool features that you have here with Hectares. Uh, and then also the model management. So it's not just entering your forecast and your plan data, but you can also maintain the entire uh, model here in addition to the model that we've seen before. So for example, if I want to add a new scenario, I can just click here and say, this is my new dynamic scenario. Uh, I can put in another uh, name for this as well. And you have this done all as a new scenario in the database where you can immediately then do your planning for that scenario and compare it uh, against any other scenario, everything stored in the central data model in the central uh, database. And then finally, we have the option to manage scenario data. For example, I can choose a particular model and we're focused on the um, Dynamics FO, but also, of course, any other uh, detail, other Dynamics modules or additional models that you can set up in the carries. And then I have the option here to copy the data and move the data as um, I need to. For example, if I want to simulate uh, a new scenario, I want to take my existing budget and I want to add it to a new forecast 23, I can do this directly here. And I can now add as many conditions as I want to, move this to the new scenario and do my changes here. For example, I don't know, increases uh, on, a, on a account group level, increases on the detail level. All the carries planning features are available then and you can compare them with the reporting, with all the reporting options that we have in Power BI, but in particular also with the um, reporting features that it carries ads, uh, like we've discussed already in the reporting visual, is the option to manage the reporting lines exactly as you need them. So for example, you see here we've added a, a line for relative gross profit, and it's really super easy. If you want to have a new calculation here, just say a row after, and this is uh, the new calculation, and the new calculation is the gross profit uh, plus the sales, you can see immediately this new calculation is there. And you can also use styles. So 
predefined um, formats that you can apply easily automatically. And with the latest Acaris feature, uh, you also have data-driven styles. So you have automatically a style defined in your database, a format string, for example. And this is then automatically applied to everywhere where you use this detail. So this concludes a quick overview of the planning options in Acaris, which literally allows you to add planning in a very short time. In some cases, our customers finalize the process uh, in, in days and uh, you have initial models running in minutes as you've just seen in this in this demonstration with likely some of the most advanced planning features in the industry. If you want to get started please don't hesitate to initiate your free trial on our website. It literally takes a minute to sign up and then we will help you with a guided onboarding process to allow you to build your initial XPNA models in a case.